Happy 4th of July, everybody in the United States. Happy just a regular Tuesday to everybody else. I hope you celebrated responsibly. I hope everybody has all their fingers, hasn't blown off any digits in the last, like, I don't know, 72 hours or so, and continues to not blow any digits off. Shout out to you guys for still having a full range of fingers. Be careful with fireworks. I know I sound kind of like an alcohol ad talking about, hey, you should celebrate responsibly, which those ads have always bothered me because it's like, okay, cool. Um, nobody's celebrating responsibly with Jägermeister, and I'm sure this is a bit that comedians have done all the time, but like, let's really talk about it for a second because nobody is celebrating responsibly with a black licorice flavored liqueur. If you're going down the Jäger train, you're not there to celebrate responsibly. Uh, you're there to either relive your glory days or actively participate in them. Anyways, let's talk about endgame shack packs. Woo! So, <laughs> they didn't add any new cards um, outside of two invincibles, like obviously besides the endgames, right? Like they added Penny Hardaway and they added Grant Hill. Uh, both of which aren't really the greatest. Like Grant Hill still has like pro size up, which I find to be actually kind of funny because it's just like, why? They've been juicing all of the Invincible cards. Like, why did they not do this for Grant Hill? I just, like, I will never understand some of the things that 2K does. I assume they update that at some point, but maybe not. Either way, they didn't add any additional, like, Season 8 cards for some reason, so I have a high suspicion that I will be pulling a Larry Johnson during this pack opening in some capacity, or, like, a Darius Garland. But we got Jimmy Butler, we got Dwayne Wade, and we got Shaq. If you note a lack of excitement and a lack of, I don't know, just like overall hype in my voice, it's because I just really don't care about these cards at this point. Like every end game card is the same. It's kind of boring, you know? It's like the names are there, yes, but realistically we're just getting like Fortnite style skins for players at this point. The only cards I'm actually excited about are the Invincibles because they've actually made some changes. The SIGs are different, the jump shots are different. Like Penny Hardaway looks fire. Am I going to pull him? Absolutely not, because I, uh, I've pulled one actual Invincible this entire year, so I can't imagine that this is going to go well. The odds, 25%, 32% Opal, 45% Pink Diamond, 63% Diamond odds. They're actually kind of bad when you think about it. Like I feel like these packs should at least, at bare minimum, be like Pink Diamond or above guaranteed, but that's just me. Either way, let's start opening some. I can't imagine I'm going to have uh, sparklingly good luck, but, you know, a boy can dream, I suppose. Right off the bat, we're rocking double rubies. We got Kyle Kuzma looking seductive over there, and Shake Milton, who I'm pretty sure just got, like, a bag. Oh, I have no auction space. No, oh, that's good. <laughs> it's not good. All right, let's go, let's go clear some auction space before I... Uh, before I move forth, okay, I'm just gonna start quick selling these uh, amethysts because it's like I just don't care, honestly. Uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like, they're going for basically nothing. Goran's actually going for, I think, a little bit. I, I don't care. Uh, let's get rid of Michael Cooper. I'm sure I could get a little bit more for him, but I'm kind of just like over it. Xavier Tillman, you can go, and I'll just sell these jerseys. Like, it doesn't really matter. The reality is I'm gonna have to quick sell a bunch of stuff anyway when I'm opening these packs, so it's whatever. So sorry for the delay. I should have probably prepped better, but honestly, I'm messy right now. So it's like not really that surprising. Now, already off to a uh, bad start. I have like 16 emerald prize balls in here, which I should probably just like not be quick selling for 25 MT, but I got them all for free anyway, so it's like I don't really care. Okay, now it's back to open some packs, man. Hopefully, I have some sort of luck. Um, the fact that it's lagging while opening packs is crazy. Some of the things that happens in 2K is just built different. Right off the rip, we got Ben Wallace and Jose Calderon. I will sell Jose Calderon, but Ben Wallace will get a nice little quick sell dose. Can't imagine he's going for very much. Got a little shake there, so maybe we got an actual Dark Matter. That's, that's fun stuff. And that's a hard no. We didn't do that. We got an Opal. Oh, goody. I can't imagine this is going to be somebody that I'm excited to have. Um, I think this is... I don't actually have no idea who this is. Like, I don't know. This is Anthony Edwards Playoff Edition. It is indeed the Anthony Edwards Playoff Edition. Sick. So sick. Okay. All right. We're, we're looking real right already. Over under how many Dark Matters do I pull while opening these packs i'm gonna say under two uh, i'm gonna say a maximum of two we got keith van horn and jamal crawford look i should probably see how much jamal crawford's going for but 
The reality is I have uh, not a whole lot of auction space, so I'm just going to quick sell stuff. I just like really don't care. Okay, we're almost at our goal. We got one. It's not an all-time player. I hope to God. I, I truly hope it's not an all-time player. Is this li no, it's not Larry Johnson again. I swear to God, I think it might be. Oh, my word. It just anyone else, just anyone else would be fantastic. Just like any other player than Larry Johnson would just be great. That would just be phenomenal, man. I have pulled six Dark Matters uh, since the last Endgame packs came out, and four of them have been Larry Johnson. Gotta say, I'm a little tired of Larry Johnson in the mix, and this is an Opal all-time player, so I can tell you without a even semblance of doubt that these packs are not worth opening. I, I can tell you that. I honestly don't know who this is. This is great. All-time Oscar Robertson. Okay, we are taking colossal L's right now in the pack opening. Like, nothing positive is happening right now. And I'm gonna get another Dark Matter and it's gonna be another Larry Johnson because they just assume, look, I like, I like Grandmama. I like Larry Johnson, I do. Do I like getting four of them? No, not particularly, I'll be honest. Not exactly an exciting turn of events. Okay, we're doing real bad. We got stellar Ben Simmons out here. I think he might be going for like something though, like 10,000 or whatever. 25% odds seem to be a bit of a lie, a little bit of a misnomer. I think I got another Dark Matter, and I swear, it's not even a Dark Matter. It's like another Opal. Oh my god, dude. Ah, I'm so frustrated. I think this is Opal Dirk, actually, which is not exactly exciting. This would have been exciting in season four, but, or season five, maybe, I don't even remember when he came. It's all time Dirk too, dude. It's not even the cosmic Dirk. Oh God. <sighs> you know, sometimes you just think things are gonna work out in life and then uh, you realize that they're not. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, this couldn't get any worse, I promise. Like this is, this is, an F tier pack opening. I actually, I have no idea who this is. Like, I don't know. Um, 97 overall magic. Like, who is this? Is this Opal Jonathan Isaac? I mean, sure. I guess I didn't have him. Uh, Lafonso Ellis. Maybe I'll see how much you are. <sighs> I'm starting not to believe the 25% dark matter odds. I'm starting to believe that uh, these are fugazi. They're a lie. <laughs> like, oh, cool. Theo Ratliff. Theo Ratliff does hold a bit of a special place in my heart, though, because I do remember, like, during the first qualifier, I remember people, like, just absolutely going ham with Theo Ratliff for some reason, which I always, I thought was really funny. Um, we'll open some more packs in a second. I just kind of want to see what the market's looking like for some of these guys. Like, what's up with Penny Hardaway? There's not very many of them. I mean, this should be a good indication that opening packs is, like, a horrendous idea that you shouldn't do. I mean, there's, there's pennies, for sure, but... Not a whole lot. What about Grant Hill? Grant Hill's going to be a buyout for sure. There's even less Grant Hills. He seems to be the rarer of the two, which is really funny when you think about it because he's like objectively worse, right? Okay, interesting. What about the end games? Have we got any end games out here? End game Shaq. I mean, he's probably going to be going for like 500K and stuff like that, I would guess. I think the ceiling for a lot of the end games until we get like an end game Yao or until we get end game Taco. Um, it's going to be relatively low, like, compared to last year. It's probably going to be somewhere around 300 to 500K for the most part. Like, Dwayne Wade's probably going to be on the lower end because he's, like, a smaller point guard. But I'm not going to lie. They should have at least put a few more Season 8 cards in the mix. Like, you know, there's still so many people who need cards. Like, when you really look at it, there's still so many players that need cards. Like, even just looking through... Just these, like, you know, like I would take like a Dark Matter Doug Collins or like, mm, who else needs like a Dark Matter? That would be cool. Um, mm, let's see. I mean, I would do Scalabrini, honestly, if he did just get an Opal, so whatever. But like a Van Arsdale or like Vinny, Charlie Villanueva. These aren't the most elite names, but, you know, just guys like this E, for instance, would be great. E would be a good Rudy Fernandez. 
um, Boris Diaw, like these are all guys that we could easily see like a dark matter for. And it's just very frustrating that they're not doing it. It's like actually super annoying. So instead we're just getting like these packs with cards we've already seen. So let's finish it up strong, open some more packs. If I even get a dark matter, it'll just be Larry Johnson again. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, cool Grayson Allen, I'm sure he's going for something. I just like don't care. I just, uh, I would like to get like one more Dark Matter. That would be fantastic. Just to make me feel a little bit better, right? Even though it's just going to be Larry Johnson again. And instead of that, we got all-time Carl Malone and Robert Parrish. Honestly, don't care. Quick sell. Doesn't matter. We're going to open a few more. I shouldn't do this to myself. Look, the reality is I always answer the question, should you open these packs? And honestly, as of right now, no. Uh, this is going to be another Larry Johnson. I can just feel it in my soul. I actually think it might be. It is literally another Larry Johnson. Gee, oh my god. At a certain point, it just starts to feel like your account is broken. Why are you trying to take my hollow, Larry Johnson? Why, why must you do me like this? That is... That is debilitating i'm not gonna lie i probably shouldn't open any more packs like if you like larry johnson dude these are the packs for you i mean i've pulled six six larry johnsons at this point i believe uh so i don't know man i, I just i don't know if you should be opening these packs but and all right we're gonna end it strong i got joe harris out here that's dope and another opal that's probably an all-time player that like i don't have but i probably should um yeah, I don't know even know who this is. It doesn't matter. It's all time. No, it's current series LeBron. It's it's actually even worse somehow. It's just, I shouldn't be opening anymore. I should just stop. I should just stop. But you know what? Life is trivial, man. It is what it is. I got ferocious James Harden. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna go down to 100k because honestly, I don't care. So like, whatever. Wow. Yeah, these packs are horrendous. They are so bad. Last pack magic, and then we'll end the video. Uh, because I'm just going to pull another Larry Johnson. That's just how it is. There we go. We got another. I swear to... I swear. To everything that is holy, man. If this is another Larry Johnson, I'm never opening packs again. I mean, that's a lie, because I probably still will. It looks like it's not Larry Johnson. Thank God. It's Garland, though. So, you know, it's not really great. Ah, I get really tired of people who say that these aren't weighted. They're like, no, they're not weighted. That's just like a conspiracy theory. Oh, is it? Is it a conspiracy theory? You think it's a conspiracy theory that they're not weighted in packs? Explain to me, please, why I continue to pull the same, like, three cards every single time. Oh, God. All right. Don't open these packs. I just chewed through about 180K MT, and I literally got two more Larry Johnsons. And then a Darius Garland, um, amassing what I can only assume is a total of about, oh, I don't know, man, maybe like 17,000 MT after quote unquote tax, right? Please don't open these packs. As always, it's been your friend Cheap Ludes. I'm going to go live in a second, so if you want to hang out, like, that's cool. Um, I don't know when, but I'll, I'll post. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Also, for free today, we got Lance Stevenson. So that's that's cool. You do get a Hoff badge too. So it's like, that's... I'm trying, okay? I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic and not pessimistic, okay? I live my life in a very pessimistic fashion. So I'm trying to put a smile on my face, man. You know, but it's, it's tough out here. So have a good day. Do not open these packs. Please do not blow your fingers off with fireworks.